So today we're going to be talking about stringing. So the first question is, what is stringing? Well, when you look on Google, what causes stringing in 3D printing, we can see that stringing is usually caused by the print nozzle losing print material as it moves from one place to another. What that means is that while your nozzle is in mid-air, it is oozing plastic in places where it is not supposed to ooze plastic out, meaning this causes a string from one point of the plastic to another point, and that is what stringing is. So in this video today, we're going to see how we tackle this, how we can perfect this, and how we can overcome this problem. So I started with the main thing that causes stringing on printers, and that is temperature. It isn't retraction settings, it isn't any of those things. What causes stringing mainly is the temperature. So what you all see in front of you right now are two columns, and this column is divided into blocks, and each block correlates to a temperature that you need to set your extruder to. And as you see from my testing, once it gets to around 190, 180 degrees, the stringing is so minute and so thin that this practically doesn't harm your print at all. So, now that we understand the difference between the stringing when it comes to temperatures, let's take two poles and print them on the default settings on our Prusa slicer. So we're going to take the file, put it into our slicer, and we're just going to do this with the default settings, which is 215 degrees. And we're just going to export it just so that we have a reference um, to our next pulls that we're going to be making. We're going to export this and we're going to move it onto our desktop. We're going to save it there. We're going to replace the file. And now we're going to go get our SD card from our printer. So let's go do that right now. Now that we're done with that, we're going to move our G-code file onto our SD card and we are going to print it up. As you can see, this is our results and they are not very good. There's a lot of strings. This was printed on 215 degrees Celsius. Not a lot of lumps over there, but uh, we do have a lot of stringing. But you can see there's some lumps in the middle of it. So we're going to look over here and I'm going to move this over here for a time lapse that I'm going to be making for this. And we're going to go into uh, filament settings, uh, no sorry, printer settings. And we're going to be going into extruder on the side. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing the length. Uh, you guys could see retraction over here. We're going to be changing the length of the retraction. What this means is how much the printer will be pulling um, the filament back out of the nozzle um, so we're going to set that to two millimeters and then we are going to set the retraction speed retraction speed is how fast it will be pulling out these two millimeters that we set it and uh, we're going to set this to a hundred faster the better and then we're going to do retract amount before wipe so what happens is your printer actually wipes the nozzle before it moves so we will want let's retract some of uh, the filament uh, of the two millimeters that we're going to be retracting we're going to retract 50 percent of that and uh yeah uh let's see how this goes export the g-code save it Place the file, pull out the SD card, put it in the computer, drag the file into the SD card, place the destination, pull out the SD card, put it back into the printer, and print.
And as you see, these are the results of the second print. Stringing looks very different from the first, but still we don't have a great print. Um, and I think this is to do with uh, the temperature. So let's go back and lower the temperature. So what I did is I went back and I set the retraction settings to their default because I wanted to just lower the temperature, see how that comes out. And if I need retraction, I will use retraction for my next print. And this is just to give you guys a little look to see what's the difference between 190 degrees to uh, 215, what we just did. And also, it's uh, so that later I can show you guys the difference between 190 and 190 with retraction on. Export the G-code, save it, replace the file, pull out the SD card, put it in the computer, drag the file into the SD card, place the destination, pull out the SD card, put it back into the printer, and print. The print came out okay, still a lot of uh, stringing, but uh, this stringing is very very thin and could be removed very very easily. Oh, wait, my bad. <laughs> this was a failed print. Let me show you the one that actually worked. So now that we got to this point of the stringing video, um, I'm going to show you guys the settings that I personally use for my stringing and I recommend everybody else to use those when you're printing with PLA. Without further ado, let's do that. Hello everybody, I'm going to show you guys my settings um, for printing. So go into printer settings, press into extruder 1, and on the length I put it on 2. 2.0 it becomes. Um, lifting, I turn that off. I do not want it to lift. There is no need to touch the retraction speed in my eyes. I think that that is just fine. And the retract amount, I bump it up to 25. And that's pretty much the settings I use. Um, other than that, I also go into the filament settings and I switch the temperature to 195 for the first layer and to 195 for the second layer. Those of you who might want to use um, a higher temperature for the first layer just for better adhering to the bed, you can do so. Um, I just find that the glue stick works just fine <laughs> to stick my prints down to the bed. So that's pretty much my settings and uh, let's see how this prints. Export the G-code, save it, replace the file, pull out the SD card, put it in the computer, drag the file into the SD card, place the destination, pull out the SD card, put it back into the printer, and print. Alright, so as you guys could see, there's a huge difference. So retraction really does work. But again, you could see that stringing is mostly caused because of the temperature, which is why I would recommend whenever you get a brand new filament uh, from some different company that you don't know, always just print up the temperature thing just so that you know where your filament is better and where it's weaker when it comes to stringing. Just for the fun of it, I printed up another one of the temperature columns, but this time I did it with my retraction settings and I'll show you guys the results. It's not amazing, but uh, as you see, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's less stringing, but there's a lot more gl gumps, uh, glumps, whatever you can see over there. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this content, please subscribe. This will really help me if you guys subscribe. As you see, I just started my YouTube channel and I need all the help I can get. So thank you very much and I hope you guys all have a great day.